Yo, what up everyone? Zonobar here coming at you with another video. Today, it's going to be a bit special. We're going to talk about a brand called Razer and their new phone and really what I wish it was going to be. So, Razer launched their new smartphone called the Razer Phone. Uh, nothing special about the name, but... I've been really following what was happening. So when Razer announced a few months ago, uh, a few months back, uh, that they were acquiring this startup called Nextbit that built a phone with like unlimited storage because your phone was connected to the cloud and it was like whatever. This company didn't do really well in sales and therefore it was smart for Razer to make a move in the smartphone business by acquiring the company, aka the engineers, the team, the brains, the IQ of that team that actually built that. All that makes sense at this point. I think it was a smart move from Razer. But that, from that, I really expected more about Razer. So I'm just going to talk about what the phone is, if you don't know what it is. And then I'm going to talk about what I really expected from Razer to do. Because Razer is a company that I respect a lot. I really like the way they communicate. I like their brand. I like what they do. Uh, I like the team they sponsor. Uh, I like that they're really uh, esports focused as well. Uh, I mean, I've been owning uh, the Ouroboros, the mouse, and the Black Widow uh, keyboard. One is from my uh, big brother. Uh, birthday gift and the other one is for my other big brother uh, as a birthday gift for my 18 year old and I'm gonna turn 22 very soon and so those are those gears are like four year old and they're still very nice I've never had to complain uh, about them uh, I don't think so maybe I had a little problem with my mouth but right now I'm chill everything is good those shits are fire I also fuck with uh, Logitech I fuck with like still series as well for the for the headsets I right now have a Logitech headset uh, I don't really care about gear I don't think it's really interesting because it doesn't make you a better gamer I like the fact that some people like to invest on cool product uh, I don't blame that like everyone wants a good looking keyboard everyone wants a good looking mouth it's just not necessary I almost compare it to Casey Neistat when he says it doesn't matter what gear you use like you just need something that films and that's really true like you just need something that clicks and something that has a space bar and some buttons razor for so many years they were like this big big company that sells amazing keyboard and mouse mice pad earphones headsets whatever then they make a move in laptops their laptops are highly successful all my friends uh at my university have uh i think i have like two or three friends that have it. I mean, it's pretty much MacBooks all over the place. I have a Mac as well. It's what an Apple computer would look like if it was running Windows, like the, the design and everything. It really looks nice. So th this is the phone they launched. So let's let's move on to the scene, guys. This is the phone they launched recently. Uh, the price is, uh, it's not launched yet, but the price I think is a regular. Uh... So here's the phone. So first of all, the design. I wanna talk about the design first. So. The way they product that, uh, the way they market that product is that it's a smartphone for gamer. If you Google Razer phone, the link you'll see is smartphone for gamer razer.com, razerzone.com, whatever the website is. And this is the design. So it's a very like, it looks like a brick. It it doesn't have like a slick design. I wouldn't say that. Uh, it has like a matte black sort of stuff. It has like two speakers here and here for like steer or experience, whatever the fuck. Uh, little home button here that does uh, ID, um, touch ID, um, etc. The screen is kind of big, but there's a hell of bezel. And right now the trend is to not have bezel or as less bezel as you can. Uh, that's that's a huge thing. That's a huge thing that is kind of disappointing. But Razer is like, okay, we want people to game, so I guess we want them to have a grip. Uh, and if they if you if you grip a phone without bezel, the little like the little grip here, the skin you have here might touch and fuck up your your moves and your gameplay. So smoother, brighter, faster. So the first thing they push, okay, is a high refresh rate. So, if you don't know what a refresh rate is, it's basically, uh, how, like, it's really the lag between your movement of the mouse and, like, the actual mouse moving on your screen, or whatever it is. Like, when you press an app, uh, the movement it will take, the little, like, mini, mini seconds it will take for it to open. Uh, if you have a, uh, if you ever played video games on a 120 gigahertz, um, uh, monitor it is impressive as fuck like you literally it fucks up with your mind you literally think that uh, when you go back to 60 hertz which is the most common you literally feel like you're playing on a piece of shit all that all those years and you kind of it's it's hard to go backwards basically because it's it's just 120 is the new way to go it's like when you watch uh, 60 fps videos on youtube and 30 fps now looks like shit it's a little bit like the same feeling 
the thing is that 120 gigahertz is like something that is not even popular in the gaming world right now. Like most monitors don't have it. It costs an extra, it's, it costs a premium to manufacture it. And gamers don't really care about it. Like they try try to get at least like two millisecond um, refresh rate. But we don't talk about hertz right now. Like gamers should get, a, a true gamer, someone that wants to go pro, should get 120 gigahertz because it just gives you that advent, advantage that you want uh, and that leverage and you'll always do better, you'll always be quicker than a guy with 60 gigahertz even though if, even though you can die from him. But not a lot of people have it. I don't have it. Like I have two screens, I don't have it. I know pro gamers that don't have it. Um, you go to a Best Buy, you go to Amazon, this is not what they're trying to promote, they're trying to push. Like it's not something that people understand right now. And the fact that most games like League of Legends, Dota 2, all those games that are like, I feel like the only games that need 100 gigahertz, or 120 gigahertz or hertz are the FPS ones. The one where you need to flick, like you need to be super fast. I might be wrong on this because I'm not used to it, but I'm sure it's less, If like it's not super, it doesn't make a, a great difference for like games like League of Legends or stuff like that. Maybe for skill shots, I don't know. Well, but I'm pretty sure CSGO is the most... Uh, it's really why you would want 20, 120 gigahertz. So for monitors, I think this is going to be very democratized and it's just going to be the mainstream shit. Everything will be 100 gigahertz. There's no doubt about it. But when it comes to smartphone, 100 gigahertz seems to be a little bit too much, especially for the fact that a smartphone is a battery-based device. It's a hardware that you need to charge. And 100 gigahertz, the fresh rate is super fast. Yeah, you have a whole lot of fun. But trust me that if you're going to play this fucking car game, the fucking phone is a going to burn your ass because it's going to overheat. I'm pretty sure of that. If you want to play like an hour or two, that shit's going to heat as fuck. And the battery is just going to die. And you, we, we, every, you, I think like all of us now know is that when a battery heats, when it just goes back to normal, it just damages itself. Like the component inside are just like so, they're so compacted that the heat stays. Like... A phone that is that thin has so much trouble releasing heat uh, and it just becomes all warm and it's so hard to like it's it's hard for it so it needs to stay at a certain like temperature to be optimized because otherwise you can damage some of a component of the phone which is not super cool so 100 gigahertz I, I I like it. I think it's a cool innovation. They're the only one doing it. Shout out to Razer for that. It's a cool stuff. They're unique. They're not just going to the market saying, okay, we're an Android phone. What up? Uh, 100 gigahertz, why not? Who is going to game on... The, first of all, who games on smartphones? Like, I want to know who games on smartphones uh, on games that actually matter for gigahertz and refresh rates. Um, I see a lot of people playing Pokemon Go. Believe it or not, that shit is still going on, man. I thought that shit was dead, but it's still going on. Um, we see a lot of Clash Royale, Battle Royale, uh, no, Clash Royale, Clash of Clan, um, and just other stuff, like, I don't, I don't remember, but they're usually games that are super easy to play, and that don't require, uh, they're usually, like, turn-by-turn -turn stuff, very rarely real-time shit, uh, so I don't know what the... So I think it's cool, 100 gigahertz, 100, uh, hertz, 120 hertz, I'm sorry, I have to say it right, fuck. It's cool, it looks good, but it will destroy your phone. I think it will destroy your phone, and it will just burn down your battery so fast that it will just be worth it for you to just go into settings and turn it back to 80 or 60 hertz. That's just my say. Let me know what you guys think in the comment down below. Uh, if you guys bought it, actually, I'm actually curious. If you guys want to participate in a podcast and you want to come talk about the phone you just bought, I'm so down. I'm really so down because I'm about to say what I think thought what i want the razor to be what i thought it was going to be because i was hyped up about this shit but it's not it's not it's really not what i expected it's so below my expectation you guys cannot believe how so we're going to move on a little fast here true to life cinematic audio basically left is left right is right wow they bought uh ths so they got the certification uh the ceo of razor is also the ceo of this company called dolby uh dolby thx which is uh which headquarters is right next to my school by the way which is kind of cool uh, 8 gigs of RAM, that's pretty cool, the new Snapdragon, all that is fucking cool, like, it's cool, man, like, you got it, the camera is dope, apparently, two, uh, two 12 megapixel, okay, whatever, um, it just keeps going, blah, 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 4,000 million power battery, that's pretty neat, but again, 
look how much they are they need that like it's okay but when you have like 120 hertz when you have like all that shit you need a battery that is at least like that like you need a battery that is at least like that because otherwise you can't do shit like you will not can't do shit uh and when they say battery for all the power i don't know how much people game but i'm sure that if you game two hours your phone will be dead like two three hours you get on the game you get on the mood you got the mojo and shit you went in the toilet taking a shit it feels good you're playing your battery was just fucking dead bro it will just die. I think it will just die. So those are some photos. They look happy. This girl is not enjoying the sun. She's playing video games, of course. She plugged her fucking headset on her phone. Like, what up? With the dongle because this shit doesn't have uh, a headphone jack. This guy is missing on the fireworks. He's missing out on fireworks to watch as his razor phone because it's so beautiful. Oh my god, the 100 gigahertz is blowing my mind. Uh, this guy is just checking out shit. Uh, taking a photo of the booty uh, in front of him. Uh, this guy is eating popcorn in the street. No, what up? And this guy is uh, whatever. This is not even. Is this a razor laptop? Yeah, it's a razor laptop. Uh, this guy is this guy. I yeah, recognize the clothes. Oh, I know this girl actually. Whoa. Oh, actually, what the fuck? I actually know this girl. What's her name again? I, I think I met her at TwitchCon last year. She's like a cosplayer. Wow, that's cool. And this is the phone, 360 view. So it's like the design isn't really nice. All right, so let's move on into the second part of this video is that what I wish the Razer phone was gonna be. So the thing is that what I hate, so let's move on to my full screen. Let's see my face a little bit. Hey, shouts to you, man. Hey, mom. Uh, I thought that Razer was gonna go all in, like literally all in, like boom, we're Razer, we're the dopest company in the world. We're gonna make shit happen, what up? The thing is that right now, I feel like the industry of smartphone is literally that. You have iPhones that are literally, for me, the best phone out there. Like, I think the iPhone is the best one out there, period. Uh, I fuck with Samsung. I, I, I fuck with all those companies in terms of hardware. But I honestly think that Android is a piece of shit software. Like, it doesn't do what I want. It's fucking confusing. Uh, and it's just not worth it for me. Like, I don't like it. I don't want to transition. I don't want to transition from it. Maybe it's biased as fuck. Maybe it is. But you know what? That's just my opinion. Feel free to express yours in the comment down below. But I was expecting that Razer would build its own operating system. So I know how crazy that sounds. I know how fucked up that is to think that way and because nobody did it before. But Ra I, I really thought that Razer was a company like that. That was going to create its own OS. So operating system for its own laptop, first of all. I thought it was not going to run Windows and they were going to create their stuff for their own gamers and whatever. And maybe how hard it sounds. Uh, maybe it's a dumbass uh, decision. Uh, it's just like, maybe it's too much. Like maybe it's too risky for them to do that. But for me, taking a phone, taking a p piece of plastic and saying, okay, we're going to put the Razer logo here. We're going to put some cool hardware and nobody doing it, aka 100 to, uh, 120 hertz. And we're just going to have the same design, nothing really cool. And we're just going to put Android, like the easiest route for a company. Like you go for Android, like you build a bullshit theme. Uh, you put some green because it's the branding of Razer and you have whatever Samsung is doing, whatever like uh, HTC is doing, like the same software, the same user experience. And I think that it tells you a lot about how people talk shit about Apple uh, and talk shit about other companies. But... I, the more I see Apple and the more I, like, I understand that they have their own uh, operating system and what it really means, the more I respect the brand of Apple. Because right now, I feel like creating a smartphone is just really trying to make hardware a little bit different and play on hardware, make differentiation in hardware, build cooler screen, cooler display, cooler design, cooler this, cooler that. Uh, and at the end of the day, you have the same experience. Like You have the same user experience. So that really pisses me off because... Uh, I mean, pissing me off. Like I'm chill. I don't give a fuck, but... I thought that Razer was going to go all in on that. It was like, yo, guys, we're trying to make the best smartphone because we know that mobile gaming is going to be huge. Like, it's going to be wild, whether it's on tablets, whether it's on um, smartphones. It's going to be wild. Like, it's, it is going to be wild. One day, I'm pretty sure uh, there's going to be something connected with AR and VR with a smartphone. It already is. Like, you can plug your phone like this and it becomes a, a VR headset. Uh, you can watch like an AR thing, like you can build a Lego thing in front of you and watch it with your smartphone. Those stuffs existed, but they're not optimized. Like iPhone is not a gaming uh, smartphone. Samsung is on a gaming, like S3, Note 3, whatever, uh, 8. 
they're not like a gaming smartphone. So I really thought that Razer was going to make a huge move in this and be really revolutionizing the industry and surprise everyone. But they didn't. They really went the easy route. I, I really have this feeling they went the easy route. Like they're just another company that wants to sell to a specific target market, the gamers. And they put their hardware. They say 120 hertz is the way to go. It's smooth as fuck. You're going to have fun playing. And they just add the little salt which is android on it and they just serve it to you guys and they put like a whatever i don't care about the price like the price doesn't matter to me it could be a, a hundred dollar it could be a thousand dollar uh it, it doesn't matter i think it's cost us anywhere from 500 to 800 dollars to be honest i would say that's the price point um but for me it is not worth it like who wants to buy that like who wants to buy a thing that looks like that and that only does what it does? Like I don't, I don't get people. I don't get people that buy a smartphone uh, from Razer right now. And I might be rude. I might be super like energetic because it's something I'm really passionate about. And I'm kind of disappointed because I really want Razer to make some sick moves in the industry. Um, as much as I want to for like Logitech and uh, whatever, like Corsair or whatever. Uh, I just think it's not a bold move. I think like Razer always was bold in their moves and they were always like super trying to democratize like the the mechanical keyboards, the, the customizable mouse, the, all that, they, all the company culture is really like, okay, we need to inno innovate. Like we need to do what others are not doing. And the 120 hertz screen is dope as fuck. It's unique. Nobody did it. Nobody does it right now. But it's not enough. Like I really wanted to see an improvement in the software uh, world. Uh, I'm not a tech guy. Like I'm not an engineer, so I don't know what it takes to really build an operating system. I'm pretty sure it's fucking long. It's, it takes a lot of R&D. Takes a lot of work, a lot of time, and it's probably going to be hard to convert people to yours. But I think it's a challenge worth taking because. I think that in five years, we're not, we're not going to have iOS and Android. Like, there's going to be a third guy that is going to lay around and make one of them irrelevant. Or just being something that offers a unique value that converts people from both sides of iOS and Android to this third party, to this third um, operating system. So, whether it's Razer, whether it's another company, I, this is something I really am thrilled to see. Because right now, I feel like we don't have a lot of options. It's, you get an iPhone, or you get whatever games you have, and every uh, whatever phone you have, Samsung, HTC, whatever, and all of them are, are going to try to differentiate from one way to another to a specific target market. Razer for the uh, for the so Samsung is pretty much for everyone. Razer is for the gamers. HTC is for the I don't know the people who take photos. Whatever it is, what, whatever the case may be, I just think that I'm kind of disappointed in this phone, and I'm very happy I, I got to express my opinion on that one. Uh, I will go to the Razer store on in San Francisco and try it out and have like an in hand. Um, feel but i have to say like i'm not gonna buy it i'm definitely not gonna move from ios to android for this phone uh it's not blowing my mind it's just really right below my expectations but i want to hear what you think guys like do you guys did you guys buy it uh do you, do you guys plan on buying it is this something you were looking for is this something you were waiting uh how is the phone placing on your expectation are you hyped about 120 hertz is this something you have on your monitors Make sure you put a comment down below or you tweet at me at Zonabra and just tell me a bit about your story around this phone. Uh, and if you have it uh, or if you ordered it, make sure you send me a tweet or something. Maybe we can set up a podcast and we can have a very cool uh, conversation about this phone. Uh, maybe like if you have it, maybe a week or two after you used it in your everyday life, if you game with it, uh, then we can have a cool, uh, like some sort of like feedbacks or review by you. And I can just be here monitoring the conversation and see what's up. And because I'm going to get curious, of course. So that's it, guys, for my review of the Razer phone. My what I wish it was going to be like, Razer phone. Uh, I think it's interesting. Razer is moving on to the smartphone industry. It's the first version, guys. The iPhone 1 wasn't amazing, to be honest. The Razer phone 1 isn't going to be amazing. But I hope they're going to release one every year and try to make it better. Uh, and I hope they make sick moves because this is a cool step into the innovation. 100 gigahertz is dope as fuck. But I expected more for a company uh, like that. I want to thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to follow me on every social media. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Twitch, YouTube. Uh, all that shit, man. All that shit. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Have a great, great day. See you for the next one. Peace.